Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Ratnadeep Paul and I am very honored to be speaking at the Technical Exchange on Augmented Reality for Military Maintenance and 3D Modeling 2021 conference. The topic of my presentation today is titled Multiscale Multi-Fidelity Tracking for AR Applications, which I will be co-presenting with Dr. Bill Bernstein from NIST. Before starting, I would like to briefly introduce myself. I am the technology lead for virtual and augmented reality technologies in GE Global Research Center, Niskayana, New York. I am responsible for ramping up VR and AR capabilities within GRC and increasing their maturity and readiness levels across GE. I, along with my team, also perform industrial research in these technologies for applications in the fields of manufacturing, assembly, field services, plant and warehouse management, asset tracking and healthcare imaging. I have divided the agenda of this talk into the following four topics. I will start by giving an overview of the AR VR research that we have done at GRC over the last seven to eight years. I will follow this by providing the motivation of our proposed research and collaboration with NIST and describe the problem statement. I will then describe the proposed idea in detail and then touch upon the objectives of the research and expected takeaways. In this slide, I am going to talk about the VR and AR research landscape at GRC and GRC's technical maturity in these technologies. One thing we have to keep in mind is that we are not a VR, AR hardware or software company. We are primarily interested in the applications of VR, AR in the industrial and healthcare space, which is where we operate. I have divided this slide into three main categories. At the top level, I have collected the core technology stack that we are interested in. At the middle level are the different adjacent technologies and groups that interface with our core technology stack. And at the bottom level, we have the different application horizontals which cut across the different technologies and leverage our work in those areas. Getting more into the technology stack, one of the key areas that we are interested in and actually one of the first areas that we started working on is the visualization of complex CAD geometry and structural and fluid flow analysis in VR. Another area of interest is 3D point cloud visualization. As you might know, GE is a 120 plus year old company and we have lots of old manufacturing plants, service shops and other buildings for which we don't have 3D models. Sometimes we don't even have complete and updated 2D drawings. So we looked into how we can use laser scanning to create colored 3D point clouds as a form of snapshot in time of the facility. We were able to bring in large point clouds close to billions of points in VR headsets and perform walkthroughs and flythroughs through those point clouds. We have also investigated bringing in CAD models into the point cloud environment and performing collision detections and flow path studies and visualizing them in VR. We have done a lot of prior work in, v in body and finger tracking. We have looked at computer vision based finger tracking and also looked into VR gloves and haptics in addition to full body tracking with optical IR trackers and Vive pucks. Added to this, we also looked into part, object, asset tracking at different scales and different levels of fidelity using a whole host of tracking modalities. The final core area is what we call sensor data visualization. We have previously done and are currently doing a lot of work in bringing different sensors such as gas detection, temperature, voltage, etc. and visualizing them in AR devices. Next, we move on to collaborative or adjacent technologies. We work very closely with our robotics counterparts and we have developed several projects integrating robotics with VR such as tele-robotics and wind turbine inspection projects. We have started looking at how AI and machine learning algorithms can be integrated with VR and AR. 
and we have heavily invested in researching VR AR technologies in healthcare medical applications. On the industrial side, we are working with our NDE and industrial sensor groups. Finally, on the application side, most of our research can be broadly divided into these five groups, uh, design and manufacturing, uh, field services, human factors and ergonomics, healthcare and medical, and training and development. Now I am going to talk about the motivation behind the current proposed research and why is it important and also describe the problem statement. So what is augmented reality or AR? True AR basically means the technology that allows us to visualize virtual and synthetic information overlaid on real objects in our surroundings, either through a smartphone, tablet or a head mounted device. AR is a powerful technology and has been applied in different areas and has been started slowly getting accepted into the manufacturing domain. Now I am talking about true AR with stereoscopic vision and SLAM enabled, not about miniature head mounted AV audio video displays. Those are much more mature devices and techno technologies and have a much better penetration. So within the manufacturing domain, some areas where true AR has been looked into, again this is not an exhaustive list, uh, are machine analytics visualization, in situ toolpath visualization, assembly guidance and validation and verification of assembly steps. However, one of the reasons AR has not been fully accepted into industrial applications, in my personal opinion, is the lack of robust, accurate and repeatable object tracking. There are many other reasons such as weight, battery life, ergonomics, etc. But the focus of this talk is on object tracking. This is especially problematic for a manufacturing setting which is typically a cluttered and not the cleanest environment with high volume of moving parts and people. Over the years, we at GE Research have re research different tracking modalities for AR applications. We have looked at ultra wideband, optical IR tracking, electromagnetic or EM tracking and computer vision based tracking as shown in the table below. Two major projects where we have integrated tracking with AR are the first is AR assisted ultrasound guidance system as shown by the picture on the left where we developed an AR system which provides step-by-step -step guidance to ultrasound technicians in their field of view. The different tracking systems that we used were IR, EM and CV. The second is asset visualization in AR as shown by the picture on the right, which is an AR system which provides real-time 2D and 3D location information of assets directly to AR devices. The tracking that we used were CV and ultra wideband. As shown in the table, there are pros and cons of each of the tracking mechanisms. Ultra wideband has a range of around 100 to 200 meters and an accuracy of 10 centimeters, which is not very accurate compared to IR or EM. IR has an accuracy of 1 to 2 millimeter and a range of 25 meters. It works fairly well around metals, however it needs line of sight to track objects. Electromagnetic tracking is the most accurate of all with an accuracy of sub millimeter level, but it has a very small range of around 650 millimeters and is heavily affected by other electromagnetic fields. So it does not work around metals, which makes it nearly unusable in manufacturing settings. Computer vision is, un, is unobtrusive and does not need special markers or additional sensors, but it needs to be trained for every different scenario, is not very accurate and may not work in manufacturing setting that is around dirt, grease, poor lighting, etc. So basically none of the existing tracking mechanisms are sufficient by themselves to meet the needs of manufacturing and therefore we need a hybrid solution which I propose and explain in the next slide.
compared to IR and EM tracking, CV-based markerless tracking is less robust and less accurate. However, markerless tracking systems are unobtrusive, easy to set up, and easy to use, making them ideally suited to a manufacturing scenario. Therefore, the proposal is to try to come up with an integrated tracking solution for AR, which will mix the best of all the tracking mechanisms. We are currently in discussions with Dr. Bill Bernstein from the National Institute of Standards and Technology, or NIST, to start a CREDA on this topic. GE Research and NIST both feel that this research into developing a comprehensive tracking solution for manufacturing applications within AR will be beneficial for GE, the larger industrial manufacturing base, and the US as a whole. The three tracking mechanisms that GE researchers will investigate during this project are the stereoscopic IR tracking. For this, we will be using the OptiTrack system as it is a low-cost solution uh, which makes it ideal for a manufacturing application. Uh, for the CV markerless tracking, we will be using Tracking Expert Plus, which is a tracking system developed by Iowa State University researchers and was funded by NIST. It is based on computer vision and depth sensing technologies and a link to their GitHub is provided in the presentation. Uh, and finally, we will be using electromagnetic tracking. For the EM tracking, we will use the solution uh, provided by NDI Digital. It is a fairly matured system and is widely used in healthcare applications. The main tasks envisioned under this project are The first task is to compare the Tracking Expert Plus markerless tracking system with respect to the IR and EM tracking which we will be considering ground truth for this research. We will capture the errors between the markerless and the more accurate IAR and EM systems. The second task is to develop an AI machine learning algorithm for calibrating the markerless system with respect to the IR EM system, thereby redu reducing the errors in the markerless system and improving its performance. We are hopeful that by reducing the errors by applying an AI machine learning calibrating calibration algorithm, we will, we will be able to bring the Tracking Expert Plus system on par to the IR and EM system, or as close as possible. The final task will be to develop a prototype AR system for providing guidance to an operator for performing assembly steps on exemplar components based on the improved Tracking Expert Plus markerless system. For this research, we will be testing on standard assembly components after discussing with NIST and also testing on our GE industrial components, which we will draw from our aviation and renewables business. The parameters that we are going to test as part of this project are the 3D location RMS errors, that is X, Y, Z, of different geometry fiducials of test workpieces, and total AR latency as a function of computation time and wireless communication time. The proposed schematic of the project is shown in the figure. For this proposal, we are going to use Unity as our AR development software platform and Microsoft HoloLens 2 as our AR headset. Now if we move on to the key objectives and expected takeaways, I think they are as follows. The first goal is to assess feasibility of using the improved Tracking Expert Plus markerless tracking system in manufacturing operations within the AR domain. The second objective is to define an AR hardware and software system architecture to incorporate new and better markerless systems as they come to the market. And finally, the most important long-term goal of this CREDA would be to develop the initial foundation of an AR tracking standards handbook and rulebook for manufacturing applications. Comments and questions. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask during the question and answer session scheduled during the conference. I can also be reached at my email ratnadeep.paul at ge.com for further in-depth discussions. Thank you for giving me an opportunity 
to speak at this conference.